what is today on today's situation welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today and what happened on this day today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts on what is today's holiday and its meaning what is today's observance and its meaning important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity what is today's famous birthdays what is today's famous passings technological discoveries and how they advanced humanity hey it's all about learning and having fun let's get started famous holidays and observances for april 19th today is bicycle day well not the kind of bicycle you're thinking bicycle day is an international holiday that commemorates the day that dr albert hoffman first tripped on lsd which stands for lysergic acid diethylamide Dr. Hoffman was able to synthesize several derivatives of ergo, which is a fungus found on rye. He was in the process of searching for new pharmaceuticals for Sandoz laboratories. He then accidentally ingested the drug he synthesized, either through his fingertips or by ingesting it, and went home on his bicycle. This is where he experienced the psychedelic effects of LSD for the first time. A few days later, he performed a self experiment to determine the true effects of LSD. He now would intentionally take LSD and asked his assistant to escort him home. Today marks the first acid trip in history. You can read more about it by clicking the link in the description below. Today is the famous Boston Marathon. It's an annual race hosted by several cities in eastern Massachusetts. It is traditionally held on Patriots Day, which is the third Monday of April. It began in 1897, and the event was inspired by the success of the first marathon competition in the 1896 Summer Olympics. The Boston Marathon is the world's oldest running annual marathon, and ranks as one of the world's best known road racing events. The course begins at Hopkinton in southern Middlesex County, and then ends at Copley Square in Boston. Amateur and professional runners from all over the world compete in the Boston Marathon each year as they face the hills and varying weather to stake their part in this race. You can learn more about it by clicking the link in the description below. Today is Humorous Day. It is a day to find the humor in any situation that happens to be thrown our way. It helps remind us to see the bright side of life and it is intended to help us realize that most things are really not as important as they first may seem. Larry Wilde, who is the director of the Carmel Institute of Humor, began proclaiming the month of April as Humor Month since 1976, but he does not take credit for it. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Today is National Hanging Out Day. It is promoted by Project Laundry List. It was a New Hampshire group that encouraged the outdoor drying of clothes, making air drying laundry and cold water washing acceptable and desirable as simple and effective ways to save energy. As quoted from their mission statement, it supports what is sometimes called the right to dry. They provide information to help change laws and prevent neighborhoods private housing developments and apartment complexes from outlying clotheslines because of aesthetic reasons. Under the stated principle, all citizens nationwide should have the legal right to hang out their laundry. You can learn more about it by clicking the link in the description below. And today is also Pet Owners Day. The National Institute of Health has partnered with the Mars Corporation's Waltham Center for Pet Nutrition to answer the question, what is the benefits of having a pet? Per the research, interacting with animals has been shown to decrease the levels of cortisol, which is a stress-related hormone, and lowers blood pressure. Other studies have found that animals can reduce loneliness, increase feelings of social support, and helps boost your mood. It is also recommended that people with weakened immune systems or are at greater risk of getting sick from animals should take extra steps to reduce those risks of becoming ill through the interactions with your furry friends. You can find more information by clicking the link in the description below. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.